Hey guys, Billy Jenkins here with Silver Creek Doodles. Today, Millie's puppies are five days old. So Millie's puppies are five days old, and what we're doing today is continuing the early neurological stimulation and the early scent introduction. So we started this two days ago. This is just our first day of getting it on camera. It was the first night last night that I actually had like six and a half to seven hours of full sleep. So makes me super happy that now we're getting well rested, we're, you know, the mamas are being able to hold, you know, their bowel movements and stuff like that. And it's, it's getting a little bit easier on everybody. So I wanted to video today and kind of show you what we're doing, handling them, show them off. You know, they're not only just like the front picture and like the back or the chest, but to show like the, the legs, the stomach, the back, <laughs> everything. So I want to get them out, show you what they look like, do some of the early neurological stimulation. I will say that I am so excited just to be able to show them off to you and to the new owners that are getting these puppies or that they're on the list. If you either you might already know or you might know that you have a place on here where you're getting a chance at them so i'm so excited so let's go ahead and get the puppies get their weights and show them off okay real quick before we get started this is the early scent introduction kit that we have so we started on day three and it ends on day 16 but every day once like we do the weights and stuff we've got are different smells. So we're either gonna label it a good or bad reaction, and it doesn't matter. Like, I like the smell of lavender. Some people don't. I like the smell of cinnamon. Some people don't. I don't like the smell of certain teas. So there's different things on here, but day five is allspice. So it's gonna be, and it doesn't matter if it's a good or bad reaction, and it doesn't matter for the puppy. They, it's just, this is working their brain. So, they, I don't know, they're gonna react. They're gonna have either no reaction, good or bad. So, but they're, this was today is allspice, is the one that we're gonna do. So let me go ahead and start with baby number one and we'll see how they react to it. All right, so we're gonna start with Mr. Red. Look at him. So I do believe, I'm like 99% sure I can say I'm 100%. I'm 100% sure that he is gonna have a brown nose and those green eyes. So I'll actually post a picture right here. You can see this is the Australian Labradoodle female that we had just kept and you see her nose and her eye color. That is what this little boy will have. So he'll have that brown nose and those light green eyes unless he has blue eyes like mom. There's always a chance. He's so cute. So he does have a little bit of white on his chest. Let's get you weight, mister. So he was our firstborn. 11.3. I've been so proud of Millie for being a first time mom and she's done really, really well. This little boy is so dark red especially with those nose and the way his eyes are gonna pop. He's gonna be one beautiful boy. So cute, I know for sure, as of right now, he is available. Dad's 10 pounds, his mom is 18, so should be in between. Let's see what he thinks of the allspice scent. So he's sniffing, his belly's going in and out, but he doesn't have any reaction. So that's just nothing. That's good though, working his brain. All right, so up. Down. On our back. You're a good boy. And on our tummy. He's gonna have a nice wavy coat. Not curly, but a wavy. They always tickle our feet. I also like to massage them. And then lastly is I like to wipe them down. Just wipe their body so they can get used to all that. 
There's Mr. Red. Next is Miss Pink. She's a nice black Merle, also known as Blue Merle. I love that half face. I cannot wait to see what her eye color is. It also could be blue or just the dark eyes because of the black pigment. Let's get you wait. Ten point four. All right. So up, down, on our back, and on our stomach. All right. Let's tickle your feet. Problem. All right, now rub them down. And there is Miss Pink. Another black Merle. And she is reserved. All right, let's see what she thinks of the allspice. So she's smelling, but no negativity and no positive. Just normal. Next is Mr. Blue. <laughs> Excuse you. But he is a chocolate Merle, which is also called a red Merle, but we're gonna call it chocolate. Oh my goodness. So you can see the red tint on the side of his face. And on the front of his legs, I'm sorry, are you hungry? And on the front of his legs here. And also on the leg part. Take two, we're pooping. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Hopefully that's it. <laughs> All right, so again, this is Mr. Blue. Let's go ahead and get his weight. He's handsome. Twelve point six. Oh, you pooped again. All this fun stuff. It's part of the job. I know. I know, you're all right. You can like having to potty with somebody holding you. <laughs> All right, so let's see what he thinks of allspice. All right, so I don't think he has a reaction to that. I think he's just not wanting to be held right now. Was you hungry or something? All right, so up. down. On our back. And on our front. Let's tickle our feet. I know, you're fine. I like to massage them. Head him down. All right, and this is Mr. Blue. He could have blue eyes or he could have the green. We'll just have to wait until he's a little older to find out. Even a couple weeks after they open, we might not know. Now he actually, we might be keeping him and putting him in a guardian home. 
but we won't know yet, but we do have two families that are interested in being a guardian. So he is reserved if testing goes correctly. We are gonna send out some DNA tests and he has to carry two furnishing genes. So um, that's like dad, so he has two furnishings, but mom only has one since her mom was a miniature Australian Shepherd. So we gotta try to make sure that we, well, we need to make sure if we're gonna keep him that he has two furnishing genes and that's the facial hair. So we won't be limited to what he could breed with. But that's Mr. Blue, so he might be available or he might not. Next is Miss Purple. So she is a black Merle, which they call blue, but I always, I'm gonna call it by the color of their coat. So you can see that she's actually got the phantom points. She's got red on her cheeks, down to the back of her arms, on the front of these back legs. Well, and her tushy hair, I hate to <laughs> show that, but that's the markings that we can look at to see if they're gonna have the tri-color. I don't see them on her eyebrows just yet, but dads are so dark and stuff, I would imagine they'll, they'll come in. She has a beautiful, this black merle coat. There's a chance that she'll have blue eyes, like mom because of the Merle gene. And she is curly. You can see the hair, how it's wavy. And you can see on her forehead how it looks like she has ripples. That means she's gonna have a curly coat. Let's see what you weigh, but look at that red on her legs. So cute. 11.7. I can't wait till they open their eyes now. <laughs> All right, let's see what she thinks about the smell. She's smelling, but no interest and no negativity. All right, so up, down, on our back, on our front. Let's tickle your feet. Tickle. And I like to also massage them. And I like to wipe them down. A lot of times they will yawn. If you touch right here, sometimes they'll yawn. Not yet, not fully. All right, now their body. All right, Miss Purple, she is actually, she's already reserved. I oh, want to wipe all that off your nose. When they get woke up, they start, their nose runs. All right, so last is Miss Orange. Her markings are perfect. <laughs> Like, it's the sides of her faces, that full ear is dark. Lots of dark, which is really cool. So she is a chocolate Merle. Gonna have that light nose. Since she is a Merle, she has a chance of having blue eyes, but they could be green. She's gorgeous. Let's get her weight. Let's get your weight, Miss Pris. 12.0. Let's see what she thinks. She's smelling, but she doesn't care. Gosh, she's precious. All right, up. Down, on our back, on our tummy, let's do 
wiggle our feet. Massage them. Let's pet our face. Down the back. Oh, it's a big yawn. All right, so this is Miss Orange. She is also reserved. So all of our females are reserved and maybe Blue Boy, but Red Boy is available. All right, guys, thanks for watching day five of Millie's Litter. So this is Millie and Pickles. Pickles is 10 pounds, Millie is 18. They're F1B Aussie Doodles, petite, so they're gonna be under 20 pounds. Mild to non-shedding. So we're super excited about this litter. I love the colors, it's I'm so interesting and not, I cannot wait for those eyes to open to see if they're gonna be blue. Um, and it will take, especially on the chocolates, it's gonna take, and the red one since he's got a chocolate nose. It's gonna take a little bit of time to tell if the eyes are gonna be blue or if they're just gonna be that greenish color because they already have a blue tint when they have the brown eyes. So the other ones though, the two black merles, we'll be able to tell pretty soon I think if there's gonna be spots in the eyes that are blue or if they're just gonna be the dark eyes. So super excited for that. All females again are spoken for. Blue collar is pending for our program. Red collar is available, super cute. He's right here again, just so you can see it, just for an overview. But if you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to hit that subscribe link if you've not been here before, if you wanna see more videos like this. If you've been here before and you're coming back and you're watching, thank you. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. We'll see you next time, bye.